Hello, my name is Dee Brown. I'm with Rochester Telephone Company, RTC Channel 4. I'm here today with Liz Honeycutt Melton, the new director of the Chamber of Commerce. We have a few questions for her so that we can learn more about her and welcome her to the community. Hello, Liz. Thank you for coming today. Thank um, you, Dee. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about Liz as a person? Uh, what brought you to Rochester and what interested you about this job? Okay. Um, I'm originally from Washington State. Um, my mom's family is uh, from the area, um, may, mostly Peru and then also Rochester. Um, and our family has had a cottage on the lake since I think the mid-30s. So I spent all of my summers here growing up. Um, so I've always been um, familiar with the area. Um, back in 2009, I was living overseas and I just kind of uh, needed a a, a touchdown place for a while and I thought that um, Rochester could even just be a couple of weeks stay and that um, ended in a pretty good job at the library and then I met uh, my husband um, and so that was another reason to stay a little longer uh, and now I'm, I'm a permanent resident of Rochester, Indiana. Um, I found out about the job um, probably, I don't even know, it was actually um, quite a while before I um, got an interview and um, I was originally excited about the job because um, I think that there are uh, three um, parts of my personality that I just felt were perfect for the job. One, I love meeting new people. I love um, finding out what they like, um, kind of what makes them tick. Um, two, I love to um, find out different activities, different events that are going on and I really like to um, uh, coordinate that with people and with their interests. I was working, um, or I have been working at the uh, Rochester branch of the Fulton County Public Library um, doing their adult programming for a year now That's and um, that um, just kind of put all of my little passions in a row. Um, and uh, thirdly, I feel like I'm just a natural promoter. Um, Andy and I were on our honeymoon and we would just meet strangers and I would say, oh, have you tried this restaurant yet? Or have you heard of this? And Andy would just start teasing me. He's like, oh, can't you tell she's the director of our Chamber of Commerce? Because <laughs> it's just so natural for me to, to promote different um, things. So I feel like just those three, um, those th three little things about my personality really um, were the main interests for uh, the job as executive director for a Chamber of Commerce. Well, I would agree those are good characteristics for the position you've been put in. Great, thank you. Um, so, and you, when you came on board, you actually <laughs> had quite a challenge ahead of you because you were coming on board and the Round Barn Festival was just right around the corner. Yeah. And also a big event in your life. You were, I, getting, you were getting married the yep, same weekend. The same weekend. I got married the same weekend and I feel um, that, uh, I don't know. I feel coming out of it all, um, there were some days on our honeymoon where I would sleep until 2 p.m. I didn't think I was probably that uh, stressed or exhausted from everything that was going on with Round Barn and the wedding. Um, but uh, after it was all over, I was able to just kind of uh, do a sigh of relief. And uh, yeah, it was a challenge, but um, it was definitely, it kept me motivated. Um, and that's, that's kind of, I think, what, what moves me in life is, I need stress, I think, in my life. <laughs> well, I'm sure that you get your fair share of it in that position. Yeah. Um, a definition of a Chamber of Commerce is that it protects the interests of the business community as being a business network. It educates and promotes business in the community and offers member businesses several cost savings benefits. Um, how many current members are there in the chamber? We currently have 211. Um, we're excited to say that we just got a couple new ones since I was on my honeymoon, so that's exciting. Great. Past two weeks. How many people make up the board? There are 18 of us, um, and those are compromised from different people um, that uh, are with different businesses in our community. Okay, and are they elected or is it volunteer? Um, I would say the majority are volunteer. Uh, I believe they have a three-year commitment. Okay. I might be wrong on that. Uh, then also there are elected um, officials. Excellent. Okay. And um, how many employees does the chamber employ? We have two. Uh, I'm part-time. And then we have Tiffany Fatrell. She's our administrative assistant, and she is full-time. And she's just a recently a new hire as well. She correct? is newer than me. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a completely new staff. Again, and fresh faces. Yep. 
and uh, we work really well together and uh, we're both really um, we're really uh, passionate and excited about this job so I'm, I'm, I think we're gonna make a great team great um, where is the chamber located we are located at 822 Main Street, uh, which is right across from the courthouse. And what are the hours, operating hours? We are open 8 to 5, Monday through uh, Friday. And then, of course, Round Barn, we are open <laughs> all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's say I'm a new business and I'm opening up. What steps would I go through to join the chamber? And what would be the benefits I could expect to see? Okay. Um, it's real easy to join. Um, you can either come into our office or you can call us um, and I will either come out and um, give you the application or we can mail it. Uh, and it's really easy. It's just giving us a little information. Um, there is a sliding scale uh, annual fee that goes along with membership. Uh, but I feel that the benefits to the Chamber of Commerce membership um, far outweigh the, uh, the fees that go along with it. Um, I would say that one of our, our uh, biggest benefits are referrals. Um, we give business referrals to any chamber members. Uh, and it's kind of funny. I think um, when, I <laughs> when I first got the job, I didn't really think of um, maybe all of the questions of, um, that people would call in and uh, ask us we get some of the craziest questions and sometimes I don't even know um, if we have that kind of um, uh, retailer or business in our community because sometimes they're just so random but um, I think that's also really great that people um, are, are come to us for any any kinds of questions that they have um, another really great benefit to um, being a member, and I feel that especially for retailers, it is probably um, one of the biggest, is our gift certificate program. Uh, I believe last year we sold over $89,000 worth of gift certificates. Um, and uh, that means that's uh, $89,000 that stay in our community. Excellent. Yes. Um, great. Yes, it is. And with that, um, businesses uh, for for either gifts, and it doesn't actually even have to be businesses, it can be anybody. Anybody can come into the Chamber of Commerce and say, I would like a $20 um, gift certificate. And they give us $20, we give them a list of all the different um, merchants in our community that they can cash in the gift certificate. Yeah. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful program. It is a great program. I, I have personally used that. It's a great gift to give to, at Christmas time, if you're Yes. At a wit's end of what to give. Yes, exactly, because it gives them a little... Gives oh, them choices. Yes, absolutely. And it's money that stays here. Yep, yep. Um, other benefits that we have are educational and training services. Um, we have networking opportunities. We also give um, free advertisement. Um, we just, in general, promote our community. Um, with that, uh, Round Barn Festival is our biggest one, but also we have the Chili Cook-Off um, and... Uh, I think fireworks, of course, um, and we're just trying to find new and exciting ways to get people to come to Rochester to hear about Rochester. Uh, and finally, we work with our uh, community members um, to invest in our future. Great. Okay. And how does or what tools does the chamber provide that helps educate businesses? Uh, today, I actually sent out an email. Um, next month, we or actually next week. There's a brand new non-smoking ban in, uh, that's not a non-smoking ban, it's a smoking ban <laughs> in Indiana. And I think that there's probably going to be a lot of confusion about that. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been sending out some different materials to our chamber members just to give them a little more of a heads up, possibly um, answer a couple questions and help clarify things. Great. Yeah, I know that that's going to be a, a, quite the debate and confusion right. of how, how you implement that. Right, yes. Okay. What do you see as Rochester's strengths? Um, strengths, I think, I'm always blown away um, by uh, just how um, an excited and how um, happy people are to live here. I think that um, there's a lot of great pride in uh, Rochester, and I feel that that is definitely one of our strengths. So the people of Rochester yes. I think are the strengths. Yes. Okay. What do you see as weaknesses? Um, I personally would like to see people more active. 
-hmm. I think that people, um, they do have great ideas. They want to see um, better things for Rochester. Uh, I would love to see people that get to get more on board and to call me and say, hey Liz, I have this great idea. I want to help you do this. Um, that's, that's something that I would like to see a lot more of. Great. More participation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what goals do you hope to achieve in your position now? The biggest uh, immediate goal is learning more about my job and how I fit um, into the role as um, Chamber of Commerce. Um, I've, I've had the job since the end of March, but like we've talked about earlier, Round Barn Festival um, really monopolized my time. And um, not that that isn't to say that that is part of my roles as the executive director, but I know that there's just a lot more um, that I'm uh, expected to do. So I would say just kind of learning about um, Chamber of Commerce in general and seeing how they function, what, um, what they do, but also um, maybe what their goals are mm -hmm. um, on, a, on a broader sense. Um, also, I know that um, social media is a huge asset. It's something that is still, um, is still growing. We don't even really know where it's going to go or how big it can get. Um, and that's something that I really um, I want to keep developing with the Chamber of Commerce. Does the Chamber have a Facebook? We do have Facebook. Yes. We're on Facebook, and okay. I've been trying to um, I've been trying to post regularly. It's still it's hard to find content. <laughs> it's hard to find things that people um, would so be interested in. you want to in definitely reading. get the message out to citizens of Rochester to go on and like. Yes, like absolutely. Rochester Come and Chamber. like us. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Rochester and Lake Manitou Chamber of Commerce. Um, and with that, I'm just trying to um, keep people up to date with current um, with current um, uh, news tidbits or just um, one day uh, I went and B&K Drive-In became a member recently, so I went and took a picture of them and said, yay, B&K, welcome to the Chamber of Commerce. So just things like that are on Great. our page. Yeah. And I know that you guys award a shining star. We award, do. Correct? Mm -hmm. What is the criteria behind that? How do you come to the conclusion of who, who you award that to? You know, to be honest, that is very top secret. There is a committee. <laughs> <laughs> there is a committee. Um, I think, I wouldn't say that the criteria is top secret. I think that they are looking for um, community members that um, are dedicating themselves in an extraordinary way to our community, to better um, the community. Uh, and uh, I think that in the past they've made some excellent, excellent selections. Um, Everyone that they've chosen is very well deserving. So it's trying to recognize people going above and beyond. Yes. Great. That's an excellent award to give. Mm -hmm. One last question. Okay. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people that probably think it's a misprint when they see it. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about the three Z's in Liz? All right. The three Z's, it's, I guess it's not as interesting as people <laughs> probably think. Um, uh, I guess probably in high school it was just somehow an inside joke that... Um, in college when I was meeting uh, new people um, all of the time, it, I just found that it was something that maybe helped people um, put my name with my face. Uh, it just kind of helped it stick a little better. And then now it's just, it just looks weird with only, you know, one Z. Um, but uh, just to help with the confusion, uh, my name is, my legal name is Elizabeth with one Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us here at RTC Channel 4. We appreciate you coming in and taking the time to speak with us, and we welcome you to the community and are looking forward to the goals that you want to accomplish. Thank you, Dean. Thanks.